curls out there. Um, this video, I'm not even gonna hide my hair in the beginning of the video. I'm just gonna be like, this is what it looks like. But, okay. I was trying to get my hair platinum color, okay? Um, as you guys can see in my past videos, my hair was very golden orange, like a very golden orange. But let me start off by saying, um, a couple months ago, my, my roots was like this much, like this much root. And, um, and I, and I processed that a couple months ago and it was just like, I felt that that one process, like, it's just like, it's just so orange and like so golden. I, I didn't bother to fix it because I was like, oh, I could do hair videos and see, show girls that certain toners really don't work on golden hair. And just so you guys can see. Anyway, I'm sorry, trying to get to the point. So, um, my hair is golden orange. I was like, we need to fix this. So, first of all, I had my hair stained by these hair toners. So I had to remove the hair toners that I had in my hair. So what I did was to remove my hair tone, to remove the hair toners was I, um, first of all, this is what my hair looked like before I removed the hair toners. Okay, so you guys saw that. And to remove that, what I did was I got 25 vitamin C tablets. 25 vitamin C tablets. I crushed them up to like powder till they look like this. Okay, once it got like that, like a real fine powdery um, texture, I mixed in the head and shoulders. I was like kind of like a one-to-one -one ratio or whatever. Um, you can add as much shampoo as you like, as much vitamin C as you like to make the, the consistency that you like. More vitamin C, the better. So I used 25 um, and this is the ratio that it looked like that I came up with. And then I mixed that up. And after I mixed that up, this is what it looked like. This is what it ended up looking like, whatever. So that's what it looked like and I put that all over my hair first I wet my hair with hot water and then not not soak just a little 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 damp and I rubbed the mixture of my hair all over scrub 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 like rub scrub and then I put a um, a bag over my head because I couldn't find my um, my um, metallic coated um, processing cap couldn't find it so I just used a bag, a grocery bag. And then when I put that over my head real tight, um, this is what it looked like. Okay. And then I left it on my head for about an hour, but like for the last like 30 minutes, I would go in the bathroom and get my blow dryer and blow dry my hair for like a couple, like 40 seconds take it off another like 30 seconds, take it off. That's what I was doing for the last like 15 minutes. Um, but I didn't want to melt the the black, the, the bag to my head or I didn't want to melt the, or like press, transfer the color from the bag to my hair because the bag was a little, had a little green stuff on it. Anyways, so I did that, rinsed it out, washed it out, I meant. Um, and when I washed it, when I washed the mixture out, 
I wash my hair in an, addition, an additional two more times with head and shoulders in the shower. And this is what my hair looked like after I did the vitamin C treatment. Okay, so after that, you guys, I went and processed my hair with the Ion Cool Blonde, the High Lift, Ion High Lift in Cool Blonde. Okay, I processed my hair the first time. I didn't like it. It was still golden. So I did it a second time the same day, which I do not recommend. So I, I did that twice in the same day. And after I did that, you guys, um, this is what my hair looked like. Okay guys, so we processed my hair twice already with the high lift. Um, as you guys can see, it did get rid of all the golden parts, but my hair is still, still golden, you guys. Um, what I'm gonna do is process my hair another time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it once or twice. You guys saw that. And I'm not gonna lie, after the second process, after I processed my hair the second time, my scalp was starting to burn and I was starting to feel like, and after I rinsed it off, my hair, my scalp felt kind of sore. Um, I was developing a little bit of chemical burn. And at that stage, at that point, I wanted to not process my hair anymore. But then I was like, no, I gotta do this for, I gotta make this video. And I was like, I was like, um, I forgot what I was saying. So I had chemical burns and, but then, um, so I was like, I have to do, I have, to, I have to do it a, a third time because my hair is still golden. Um, and the third time, I went to Sally's and they did not have any Ion um, High Lift and Cool Blonde. And I didn't feel like driving around to look for the Ion in Cool Blonde, the High Lift. So I ended up getting the Argan Oil um, High Lift in Cool Blonde, which was this. I got that. I was very skeptical with it. Um, as you can see, it turned my hair like an ash. Well, actually, it didn't really turn my hair like an ash. It was the toner. But, um, so, actually, I liked it in my hair after I processed it. I processed it, and the third time, I loved it. I liked it. All right, guys, so this is the third process. Um, the sun is really bright in my eyes. This side is darker than the other side, and I did not know why. My eyes are gonna be closed because the sun is right in my eye. This is what it looks like. My hair is looking like now. Um, my gold tones are. I noticed that the gold tones have. Um, well, my eyes. I noticed the gold tones are still in my hair. There's just like a little bit more gold tones in my hair, but um, we're not, I was gonna part process it a fourth time. I was, sorry, I was eating corn. Um, we're, I was gonna process it a fourth time, but um, when I was rinsing this stuff out of my hair, I noticed my hair was on the, it was it's, it was on the gummy side. Um, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna stop. That's a sign to stop, it's a red flag. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm going to put the toner in my hair. So I'm going to use a purple toner, but I don't know if it's going to tone because I feel like my hair is still golden and I should process it one more time to get rid of it. But we're gonna use the purple toner anyway to see what happens. And we're going to use a 10 um, volume developer. And the third time, I loved it. I liked it. But I was like, no, I want to do, actually, I want to process my hair another time, a fourth time, but I know that wasn't going to happen because my hair was, was feeling a little gummy and my scalp was like burning, like, you know, like hurting, like it was getting chemical burns on my scalp. Um, so I didn't go for a fourth. I was like, forget it. We're just going to tone this hair. 
So I end up toning it. Um, I want to use a T18, well, a T18, but I was like, let me try something new. So I grabbed the Wella Tango and CT18. Um, I don't know why I thought it was like a T18. So I got that <clears throat> and that's in the color Lavender Ice or Lavender Icy, Lavender Ice. And when I put that on my hair and it's, okay, first of all, with the with the toner, I mean with, with, with the high lift, I use a 40 volume developer. Um, with the toner, I use a 10 volume developer. And with the tone, okay, wait, hold on, let me go back. Go back, rewind, rewind. When I processed my hair for the first, the first time I processed it, it was for one hour. And then the second time I processed my hair, it was for 40 minutes. And this third time that I processed my hair, it was for an hour. I just wanna clear that up real quick. Um, so back to the hair toner. So I was toning my hair. Um, I put it in my, I put the toner in my hair and I left, okay, I mixed the toner with the 10 volume developer and I left the toner, I was gonna leave the toner in my hair for 10 minutes, but I rinsed it out at seven minutes because I noticed the ends of my hair, my hair, the, the, the ends of my hair is real damaged and stuff, you know, when it's damaged and stuff like that, all dried up and stuff like that, it, it tends to hold color. And I don't want it to hold the purple toner. So I rinsed it out or whatnot. And this is what it looked like in the outdoor lighting. Okay guys, so this is the after. Sorry, this, this set is really bright. This is the after of toning my hair, you guys. Um, my hair got darker. I noticed my hair got darker. Um, I do not like this at all. Um, I knew my hair was, the toner didn't even turn purple until after I started sitting in my hair. Like when I was mixing it, it didn't turn purple. So, um, our cars coming I'm getting a shade so it didn't turn purple and I knew my hair was a little bit too golden for the um, the toner but I wasn't I didn't want to process my hair again because my hair was like getting kind of gummy and I like my hair before I toned it actually I don't like my hair now I do not like it at all but this is it. My hair did not end up turning platinum. I liked my hair before I toned it. Um, I don't like my hair after I toned it. I don't like this color. Um, I feel like this toner made my hair darker. Um, I feel like my hair looks like a gray ash, like an ashy looking color. Um, but... I mean, this is what the toner did to my hair. Um, I haven't put any hair product in my hair because I don't like to put hair product in until after I make the videos so I can show you guys what the true color of the product, what it does to your hair because hair product will tend, tends to like, when this hair is wet, it looks darker or moist, it looks darker. So um, that's what happened with this hair video, you guys. It's supposed to go platinum. I thought it was gonna be a platinum. Maybe if I got a T18, my hair wouldn't look this color. It'd be like a different color. I don't know. I haven't used, I haven't used a T18 in a very long time, so I forgot what it looks like after you use it. But um, I hope this video could help. Hope this video could help someone out. So peace out and toodles to all my happy trails out there. Bye, guys.